What is up, Jabronis? This is Dr. Shadow55. I mean, I'm here right now, and, um, sorry I've not posted many videos that lately. I mean, I've just been busy. I mean, but anyway, um, I mean, I'm, st I'm doing another review. I mean, last time I did some Doctor Who stuff, didn't I? Well, now, I mean, well, today, um, well, for, for, the, for the next few days, I'm doing, a Harry Potter stuff. And, uh, as you can see right here, you probably don't know what this is, but I'm doing Harry Potter stuff now. Actually, you know, it's, instead of, you know, it's kind of like a toy review, but except it's like a collectible review. You know what I mean? Actually, yeah. Um, so right now I, I'm reviewing Harry Potter's wand. And this, um... I got this from the Noble Collection on eBay, and, uh, it came, uh, in a cardboard box, actually, but once I opened the cardboard box, this came in it. And, uh, this is the box that Harry Potter's wand comes in. Pretty hard. And, uh, it has this, like, dark brownish, reddish color, but anyway. On the on the sides you get the stickers. I mean, on this nine six three with a little two. Um, and uh, on this side you get the same sticker, but I don't know where this one went. I mean, mine didn't come with it anyway. But the only thing about these stickers that's weird is that Harry's wand is the only wand that has these stickers. The other stickers are just like stars, you know. Anyway. Anyway, on the front, nothing, nothing really, just, just that. On this side, you get the Made in China sticker, and, uh, you get, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, trademark thing. You can't see that very well. Yeah, I can't see that. Okay, so... Let's open this thing up and look at our wand. Alright, so once you open this up, you see this like red ribbon thing like covering the wand to make it look to make it look fancy and all of Anders stuff. And on the side you get this like red ribbon as well. Goes all the way around. Yeah, and um, the only way to get the wand out is by undoing this ribbon thing. And there's your wand, Harry Potter's wand. And um, wow, this thing looks amazing. I mean, red velvet. It's fancy. Anyway, let's get our wand out. Okay. So, this is how long it is in real life. Okay. This is how long it is. It's, uh, if you can't tell, it's, uh, 14 inches in length. And, uh, it's not made of wood, it's made of resin. I don't know. It's pretty, but it's a pretty cool design, though. I mean, you can see from the bottom, this, like, weird, like, burned tree branch, kind of, like. Yeah, if you, like, put it like that, it looks like a tree, kind of. And, uh, halfway up, you get these, like, burn marks down here. And, like, get these, like, these things, tree, tree cuts, kind of, and then you go to the trunk, which looks like that, it's like a little curve right there, and then, all the way out, just a cool trunk, so, it's pretty cool, it's, and of course, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the Another Warner Brothers symbol. 
I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Sorry, this camera sucks. I mean, anyway, um, those of you uh, who are Harry Potter fans, you might know all this already. But those of you who are not, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. But um, I got this as if, if I told you about before, but I got this on the Nobel Collection on eBay. It was forty bucks. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty expensive. I mean, not that expensive. I mean. But um, it's it's really cool. I like it. You know, I mean, when I was a kid, I've always wanted one of these. You know, just every time I was watching a Harry Potter movie, I'd always like need a stick or something just to swirl around in my hand when I was when I was acting out the spells. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. I mean, even though it's made of resin, I mean. But if even though it is made of resin, it can break easily. I mean, so I just caution you guys. I just warn you all: just don't use it. Like, don't flick it around too much, or like, or like wave it, or like use it too much because it might crack. And that's the end of your wand. Uh, I think you can fix these things. I don't know how, but I haven't broke mine not yet. Well, I don't want to, but. But anyway, um, those of you who don't know about what, how Harry Potter got his wand, um, uh, Harry got his wand at Ollivander's. Uh, this was in the first book. Uh, he got his wand at Ollivander's when he was 11, uh, while he was starting his first year at Hogwarts. And, uh, the wand he got was, uh, was made of holly, and it was, uh, it was it was made of holly, and it was, I think, 7 or 11 inches. This one's 14 inches, but... His was made of holly, and it had a phoenix, fe a phoenix tail feather core, which came from a phoenix tail feather. And, uh... Yeah. And I don't... That's basically all. I mean... But the, the weird thing about Harry's wand... Is that the Phoenix Tail Feather, where it got it, where this wand got it, it had another Phoenix Tail Feather, and that was inside Voldemort's wand. So, Lord Voldemort's and Harry Potter's wand have the same core, and that's why every time they did the Priorian can, can, Priori Contatum thing, or I don't know, that's when uh, their wands connected, and um, it's hard for them to, like, duel each other because they want their wands are the same kind of but you know what? I've noticed another thing about Voldemort's wand and Harry's I mean they both have this like slanted like thing right here I don't, I don't know I think that's just cool but me but Voldemort's wand has the same design kind of but except his is like a, a phoenix on the end and it's his, his white wood. But all all the Noble Collection wands are made of resin, but but they still look like wood, kind of. I don't know. Anyway, um... Yeah, um... I got this, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, if you, once you get these, I mean, you just feel like you're Harry Potter, or you feel like you're a wizard, or... Your Dumbledore. <laughs> but just to remind you all, this is just a prop. Magic does not do any magic. No Expelliarmus or anything. <laughs> and I wish I, I wish that could happen. Really, I mean, just imagine if these things were real. I mean, if they could do actual spells, just imagine how how useful this thing would be. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, this thing's basically just for props and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, if you're like, I mean, if you need something to wave around in your hand while you're watching Harry Potter, I mean, you can get one of these. I mean, it's pretty cool. You can act like Harry. You can make uh, videos of these. I mean, you can be a good prop. I mean, it's awesome. I always wanted one of these. Wait, I've told you that before. <laughs> so anyway, um. Yeah, that's Harry Potter's wand, and, um, yeah, I got, 
it's just yeah <laughs> okay I'm sorry I don't know what to say but anyway this is Harry Potter's wand it's pretty cool amazing and um you guys can get one on the Nobel collection or or eBay for like 40 bucks or something like that and um yeah that's all for my video and um I know it's not much but that's all but and I will see you all bros later peace